Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh, sneeze there. There's dust in here. Um, let me begin with this here. I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Rakakadash. All right, the Heavenly Father and His Son, who we always declare and, and, and profess amongst the men and give all glory to, you know, all honor and glory, infinite glory and honor, <laughs> you know. Um, Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. Right, salutation and peace and much blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro and Indian descent. All right, Israelite foreigners as well that have uh, been scattered amongst the four corners of the earth and that have been scattered amongst the other nations and may look like the other nations but have the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Al Shai, the spirit of an Israelite. All right. You faith-based Israelites as well. Right? Faith-based, which this group here, IUIC, is makes mockery of. Okay. Faith-based Israelites, all right. Fellow laborers, you know, which is winter time. And you can see these guys starting to take to more and more time off. All right. And you I and you women, you are with us, humbling yourself as well. It's learning this word. Okay. And again. Winter time. These guys are gonna be tar start taking more and more time off. All right. Uh, winter, you know, it's nice and comfy in their homes. But let me get back to the task at hand here. Um, this is I U I C Columbus, Ohio. These guys are just full of shit. Straight up full of shit. You know. And I've confronted them and engaged with these guys, and like I said, they're full of shit. You know, this is a watered-down version of um, true prophets. This is a watered-down, uh, you know, and again, as far as the scripture says, uh, 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 Matthews, uh, what scripture, what, what book is that? Matthews, let me see if I can get it here. Matthews, um, the seventh chapter speaks of, and I'm going to read into that. You're going to know them by their fruits and fruits and the head of this IUIC is Nasty Nate, which is up in New York, which they branched out. This is a huge group, man. You know, this is pretty much that the broad way, which the scriptures mention, the broad way that leads to destruction. You know, and I'm going to give you just a couple of examples of that broad way that leadeth to destruction. Uh, first bringing to your attention is the... The name of the Lord, Yahweh, which we all know, it's and, and it's proven in the scriptures is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, which is our Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, the, you you don't see the name anywhere, and you're never going to see the name even come out their mouth. What you're hearing is always Christ this or Christ that, and when you hear about that name Christ, you know what comes to mind that. And even though these guys is pushing the, um, the the Lord is black and the Most High is black, what comes out their mind is Christ, Christ, Christ. And you already know when you say that name Christ, what comes in the minds of the people? That blonde hair, blue eyed, goddamn devil. And look at these names, man. These names is just pretty much just to give um, uh, high praises to themselves. You know, young man, you have to not so learn Christ. The cry for deliverance and listen to the videos is nowhere near, nowhere near in the least bit a cry to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, it's like a performance that these guys put on. It's an act, a performance. You know, and uh, not no, literally no crying. Um, sixty day, sixty Columbus, sixty days of camp. Prophets prove God is against cross dressing and homosexuality. Granny confronts the prophets. <laughs> Black man learned God does not love the white man. I'm going to have to listen to the album, go into that one. This is two months ago. Black man learns God does not love the white man. 
slavery, ghetto, the ghettos filled with the kings of the earth. The sister receives the word with joy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Bible. Let me read the scripture here. I had a couple of them on deck. Um, okay. Uh, this is the book of Matthew 7. Hold up. Give me a second here. It's Matthew 7. No, let me go here. Exodus. Not slacking out Exodus. Um, here we go. Exodus 9 and 16. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. All right. It's no mystery that these guys don't use the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and I'm not gonna go through each and every individual video to show that. You know, those of us that's been in this word pushing this truth and doing the work in truth and sincerity know these this group IUIC, which is a 50C3 uh, camp, you know. There's certain things they can do and there's certain things they cannot do. And they're very clever and careful on how they do it. But again, again, groups, it's very simple to fool the masses anyway, because, you know, Jake, the, the hood is, uh, was raised in a, uh, under the doctrine of Christianity, which Christianity is, uh, there's nothing about Christianity biblical. So it's easy for any group to actually uh, go out and teach uh, uh, deceitfully. Again, this is these. There, it's done cleverly through them. Like so you got to know the word, man. All right. And again, the name is the key. The name. All right. Let me find me another one here. And um, number six and twenty-seven. The Lord, 26, the Lord get lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. It's another scripture. Let me go back. Let me find another one here. The name is very important. The name. All right. Let me go to Psalms. No, uh, Proverbs. That's probably what I'm thinking about is Proverbs. Um, I'm not sure if it's 30. Um, this is Psalms 91 and 14. Because he set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. That's self-explanatory. So going into this, I'm just curious. I'm just going to hit this up in the NRV. I got to, I was uh, re, uh, following other brothers, man. Uh, it helped me get in the habit of going and switching back and forth. You know, the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Beautiful scripture. All right, so let me go back again. I want to read. Uh, Bible here, put the book of Proverbs. Let me grab this here. What, you know the scripture I'm thinking about. What is his name and what is his son's name? You know? Popular scripture, powerful scripture at that. You know, how do they justify not using a name? You know, Proverbs 30, like I said, I was correct. Who hath ascended up into heaven? Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? 
and what is his son's name if thou canst tell and the funny thing about this is um, the num the name is covered a lot and it's mentioned a lot by the, the uh, true men of the Lord you know great millstone we use the name a lot we continuously using the name is that name is continuously being broadcast okay continuously and there's uh, multiple and multiple videos on um, the name even being discussed you know going into the name how the name was given to Moses and um, and what's the video that's uh, apostle uh, um, Yashua Wamba I can't if I'm saying it correctly the head of GMS Dallas um, let me see if I can get this and there's also been rebuttal videos on it as well um, Ahua, you're using a name, we don't use the name uh, Ahua or something uh, of that extent I've looked it up on how I am and it, uh, how it translates into the Hebrew which that's not the name of the Heavenly Father and, uh, that's even over TikTok as well um, you know, guys trying to say that's the name of the Lord and saying that we're going off. <laughs> you know, shows you that they're clearly not um, uh, in these scriptures correctly. So anyway, the name. I'm just, just scrolling down on here, seeing if I can see the name. Uh, I you can't live right and wrong. Christ asked what God can do for me. Sister asked what can God do for me. Your race is key to your survival. <laughs> your race, you know, your race is key to your survival. I got to listen to that one too. A brother throws away his cigarettes. White man knows our secret. The white man knows our secret. He does. The white man is our enemy. The man put man wants to know who we are. The Israelites, father and son, learn the true identity of the devil, <laughs> who taught us sodomy. Young man, you have not so learned. There's that name Christ again. You see, the cry for deliverance. Prophets prove God is against cross dressing. Again, I read all that. Um, again, where's anything on the name? Where's anything on the name? This is why they don't answer questions. They don't answer questions. They avoid all questions. Their guard is up. They got the they got their uh, defective missile defense systems up. Uh, in, in case uh, a brother of great millstone, a true uh, brother of the Lord, um, that teaches this word in sincerity, uh, you know they they got their eyes open for them, you know. As we come out with the name, we come out with and we answer sincere, we ask sincere questions concerning this word and truth, you know, and our whole thing is to expose uh, uh, those that are uh, sincere and those that are not. And well, put it this way, there might be, there are brothers of IUIC that could be, that may be, and that are sincere, but um, that, that time coming when the Lord will open their eyes. That time's coming soon because we're coming down to showdown time, you know, where certain key prof prophecies is going to be ex uh, brought out in the open. And you don't see those key prophecies in any of these uh, um, labels here, uh, you know, titles to their videos. The Mark of the Beast, you know, Esau being um, going into slavery um, and the name, period, you know. This is just silly, man. This is just silly. You know, let me read this. Let me read this. Going back to the Matthews 1 to 7. It says this, um, Beware, Matthew 7 to 15, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. But then again, you watch when they are out there on the streets, how they're dressed. They're dressed in fly-ass garments, but underneath those flyers' garment looked like a uh, looked like a, um, a, a a biker gang boots and a black. You know, one thing about those uh, the intentions of the wicked man. You 
you can all that that presence is always there you know where you can tell there's always something there that you can know you notice that the uh, um that the uh, false prophets all have in common you know there's always a presence all you got to do scripture says to be circumspect that means um uh, you know, look. You gotta be aware of what's going on around you and who's around you. In another word, the word Mark in um, the uh, the book of um, Romans, the word Mark. I'm speaking of. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, uh, Romans 15 chapter. The word Mark. I'm, the scripture I'm thinking of, which um, the, uh, the, in the Greek, uh, the word Mark is uh, uh, skopeo, meaning to uh, pretty much just put your eye on this on the, on, on that motherfucker. For lack of better words, <laughs> you know, but um, that mother like that nickel, that nickel. Okay, but which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. You know, this this force that's uh, this force that's which I refer to as, as you know this this broad way which I call it. This force is full of death, man, leading you to death. There ain't no fruit amongst these men. There's no good fruit amongst these men. A good tree bring, cannot bring a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. All right. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. So we're coming to showdown time where this is going to take place. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. So let me grab this here. I'm just curious here. But I will reply, I've never knew you get away from me, you who break Noah's house laws. It's like, that's not 19 is verse 19. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Let me go back. Wherefore, hewed down, hewed, to cut out, cut off, to cut off occasion. Remember, we profess that name continuously. That name is continue. And the one thing is, I'm careful who, he, I, who I even say the name around. Um, for example, yesterday on the streets, highways and the byways, two individuals, two foolish, wicked individuals, one saying he was Jesus, the other one saying he was Moses. I ain't going to give no way. I'm not going to say the name to them, to them fools, man. You know, <laughs> yesterday was one hell of a day, man. You know, it was wild. I actually kind of had a, I kind of had fun out there yesterday. You know, uh, I kind of food, I kind of uh, messed up with the as far as camera go. I forgot the camera cut off and and it went on for a while till it was it was brought to my attention from a guy that walked up that the camera had a message on it. It told me it it stopped, and I don't know how long I was going before that even happened. I I was upset, <laughs> you know, but um, that's okay. You know, um, so anyway, let me read this. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. You know, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. So the will. His will. Doeth the will, the lemma, the lemma. The, the, the Lema, if I said it correctly. Strong's G, 2307. Thelema. 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 Okay. 
okay, the will, what one wishes or has determined shall be done, okay, of the purpose of the Most High to bless mankind through Yahweh Shai. And, you know, right here it says God and Christ, but, you know, if it's in, under IUIC, it's just, you know, of what the Most High wishes to be done by us. Listen, commands and precepts. His commandment. Commands and precepts. Will, animals out there, man, just making that kind of noise. Will, choice, inclination, desire, pleasure. So commands and precepts is what we wanted there. His will, commands and precepts. Many will say, many will say, this is verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. You see, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Okay. <laughs> In thy name, in thy name, I love this work, man. You know, um, again, it's cool. And, and another thing, um, the part as far as these precepts and commandments go, is um, uh, answer men's questions. All right, but let's just stay here on the name. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to go down a little bit more. They can't stand the laws. <laughs> the black man history is in the Bible. God doesn't respect how you dress. Understanding John 3, 16. The days of camp crying out loud. The corners. The corners. Sister. It's always sister this. It's always sister that. Learn the dress code for women, and, and as if that woman, she learned the dress code for women as if she doesn't wear pants anymore. I mean, I like to see that example. And even though, she, you know, just, it's, man, you know what? These women, they're not going to keep it fully. If you're not going to keep it fully, why be even out there fronting like you're Miss Holy? You know what I mean? They're not going to keep it. Only God can judge me. <laughs> Holy God can judge me. Another one I have to listen to. Who will stand up for righteousness? Opening the eyes of the seas. This dietary system, the tree by river. Is that you, Christ? And again, if they going off on key, if they go off on keynotes, then they're very, very limited. You know, on the, on your, on your teachings. If you don't keep the truth, one hundred. If you don't keep it out, if you don't push the word out there and cut and unedit it, you know, without concern of the hearts and the, um, the, the of how the people feel, you can't bring this word out correctly. Again, the name of the Lord is, is the key. Christ will kill you for dress. <laughs> yeah, blind hair drug dealer hates his people. <laughs> he looks silly, man. Now, um, and again, as, as far as concerning like questions and things like that, let me finish reading this here. Um, okay, verse 27, Matthew 7, 23, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You know, if you don't want to push out the name, the name or, or, or the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh, the only way that we're going to get the hell up out of here, the only true living powers that's going to that have the power in their hands to deliver us, man. Man, you're pretty much, you're a damn fool, man. You're a damn fool. Therefore, whoso heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him, uh, liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Turn this light on. And I had to go back here again. Let me do this. That rock, man. man who is that rock? <laughs> um, Where was I at? name but when he seeth his children the work of my hands in the midst of him they shall sanctify my name 
and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall fear the, uh, the power of Israel. The name. Here's, here's one where he mentions the Lord's name. Isaiah 42 and 8. I am the Lord. It mentions the name here. Let me go in there. I am the Lord. The Lord. It has Yahweh there. Oh, blue letter don't say Yahweh, but you know, it's Yehovah, it says. But we know it's Yahweh. It has the name there. I am the Lord. I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. They pushing the graven image of Christ here. You know that. You know that. Key things, man. Again, I still haven't seen anything on, like I said, the mark of the beast yet. I hope I do. And you know they're going to go off on it. You know they're going to go off on it. So let me go back again. That one is, um, mentioned not the Lord there. Isaiah 52 and 5. Now, therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, saith Yahweh? I guarantee you that's the name of the Lord itself right there, the name of Yahweh there. I guarantee it. Yeah, there you go, H3068. Yahweh. So now, therefore, have I, what have I here? Saith Yahweh, that my people is taken away for naught. They that rule over them make them to howl, saith Yahweh. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. Mm, mm, mm. So that name's important. It's important. It's something you just can't get around, man. And in the these scriptures, he made it quite clear. There's no way he can get around or justify not using that name, man. Especially when you're out there so-called doing the work of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh shot. Christianity ruined our minds. <laughs> and it's always black this. It's always Christ is black. And all the videos, man, that they throw up. It's always, we know he is. You know? They greatly exceeded Egyptian kings. The slaves' mentality, not physically. God's enemies sold us into slavery. The church has lied. Repent, become a God again. Sister learns white man will be a slave. Why was Christ crucified there? <laughs> you see? You see how there's a big difference in how this word is pushed out? You know? Great Millstone push it out with 100%. You know? Uncut, unedited. The other groups beat around the bush, so to speak. So, going into... Uh, hit on a, quite a few of these just a few of these videos and and just look at as far as questions goes he has any he or with a damn heathen and you know there's all sisters this sisters that you know i'm not even gonna go through it just the questions aren't if there's a question asked and i went through a quite a few of these videos if if there was a question asked you know they're not answering. What are they doing instead, man? Right now, they're if you ask me, they're enjoying the world. <laughs> you know, but I'm about to, about to uh, pass uh, false judgment or be a false witness. But as well, again, one thing I've learned and, and one thing I've noticed about, uh, and I've seen them out and about. One thing I've learned learned about these and 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 actually observed about these guys, man, is just they're worldly as it gets. You know. They're worldly as it gets, man. Okay, so, um, uh, uh, you know what? Um, let me read this. First Timothy 3 and 2. A bishop then must be blameless, ye husband of one wife, vigilant, sober of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Okay. 
So where's that word at? That word at. It's a bad word, man. When uh, uh, going if going into the word itself, um, apt and skillful in teaching, um, meaning like um, um, urgent. You know, it doesn't give us the definition there. It doesn't give it to us there. Second Timothy two twenty four and the servant of the Lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men apt to teach. Or apt there, but it gives. Let's see if it gives us the same meaning. I should look at what strong it was. It says apt and skillful in teaching again. Um, but going deeper into the word, it's been like urgent. It was quick. Um, I'm, Every gift makes a difference. I didn't mean to pull that up there. Um, I'm trying to pull this word up. I'm trying to find this word. Mm. Can't remember where I found it at. A servant of the Lord must be quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach and be patient with difficult people. That's the NLV. Okay. Let me get this word here. <clears throat> okay, the, I did a little quick search on the word question itself. Okay. Um, Give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I found it. Here we go. First Timothy six and four. Let's go into this. He is proud, knowing nothing but dotting about questions and strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil, surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of truth, supposing to gain is godly. Which I could have found if thought of the spirit would give me this scripture yesterday. If a man teach otherwise, let me go up. First Timothy six and one. Let all let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of the Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemy. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, into the doctrine which is according to godliness, and that godliness, that name has to be pushed, that's godliness, man. He is proud, knowing nothing but dotting about questions. What's it mean by that? Dotting, dotting about questions meaning dying to be sick of any ailment of the mind to be taken with such an interest in a thing as amounts to a disease to have a morbid fondness for okay 
doubting about questions and strifes of words, whereof coming evil strife, railings, evil sermons, surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw th thyself. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and for certainly we carry we can carry nothing out. All right, so um, here it goes again. Well, scripture is escaping me. It's escaping me right now. But Second um, Timothy two and twenty three. But avoid, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strife. Timothy um, Titus three and nine. But avoid foolish questions and genealogy contention. But they don't answer any questions. Period. You know, just like the scripture says, we have to teach. Okay, let's go down some more. <laughs> the account with us on um, using Solomon as an example, dealing with the Queen of Sheba. Second Chronicles nine and one. Second Chronicles nine and one. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, with a very great company and camels that bear spices and gold in abundance and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not <laughs> mm. so there we go um you know, start clowning on these fools, man. Yeah. Concerning the truth and the spirit of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. So, yeah. So, until next time, uh, Lord willing, this guy's is full of shit. You know, Shalom.